Good afternoon, this is Nicholas from Hand World Gaming. Uh, we just got revealed a brand new Clockwork Knight card revealed, which is really, really exciting. So if you don't know, the original Clockwork Knight is Clockwork and then Knight with, like, Night Sky. This is Clockwork Knight with a K, so as in, like, a knight in shining armor. Anyway, the original continuous spell is, like, a machine card that usually only Cyber Dragons play. And maybe some, like, random ass Earth Machine decks. But um, basically, this card, this new Link one, revolves around night, uh, Clockwork Knight, and it seems really cool. But before we go over the new card, we should go over Clockwork Knight, because this card has had potential in the past, and is kind of powerful. So if you don't know, Clockwork Knight says all face-up monsters on the field become machine monsters. Machine monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense. Also, machine monsters your poke controls lose 500 attack and defense. You can only use each effect of this card once a turn. Uh, if this card is in your graveyard, you can discard one card to add one Earth Machine monster from your deck to hand. You can only use each effect of Clockwork Knight once a turn and only activate this card once per turn. So basically, this card has two effects. It has the continuous effect that all machine monsters uh, gain 500 and then your opponents lose 500. Also, all monsters on field are machine. And then it also has the... Uh, Graveyard effect to banish itself, then you discard a card to add a Earth Machine from your deck to hand. There's only really two good options for your Earth Machines. Here is some Ancient Gear card, like Ancient Gear Box, or you're going to search out uh, Ferion King Regulus because he's an Earth Machine and he's a free Omni game. Really solid card. Uh, this deck is probably, this card probably will see most play in Cyber Dragons because Cyber Dragons have a contact fuse of any machine deck. Meaning, if you summon, let's say, a basic Cyber Dragon, you can contact Fuse their entire field away, doesn't matter how broken it is, just because, oh, look at that, it's a Cyber Dragon, and I can make anything with machines, so there you go. But, uh, yeah, we have a brand new Link 1 monster, and it revolves around this, so let's talk about it. So this is a Link 1 Earth Machine Effect monster, 500 attack, its arrow is pointing to the left, no bottom pointing arrow, just a left arrow pointing to the left. Uh, its materials are one non-link monster with a thousand or less original attack. You can only use the first and second event discard same once a turn. A discard is link summoned. Send one face-up continuous spell you control to grave to add one clockwork knife from your deck to hand. So it basically says, hey, you're going to send a continuous spell that you already control to grave in order to then get a clockwork knife directly from deck so you can make all monsters and machines. Cool. I'm not sure whatever continuous spell you're playing. I guess if you're playing Ancient Gear, you could be sending, like, Fortress or something. But usually you want to destroy Fortress, not send Fortress. So, I don't know there. And also, Orcus don't really play uh, continuous spells. So, I'm not really sure what's the continuous spell you're supposed to be sending. It's supposed to be another copy of Clockwork Knight. Thus, you can get the Graveyard Effect of Clockwork Knight to add a Earth Machine. I'm not really sure. And if that's the case, then it requires you to open Clockwork Knight. Uh, second effect this card says, target one machine monster with a thousand or less attack in your graveyard. Tribute one other machine monster, and if you do, spell someone that target in defense position. Its effects are not negated. Meaning you can, whenever you tribute, spell someone out a monster free from grave, and that monster can resolve its effects, which is pretty good. It also doesn't have any attribute restriction like the other Clockwork Knight does, where it only at Earth Machines. This card can reborn any monster that's machine from grave. Overall, this card's really, really cool. I like its graveyard utility, but ultimately, I just don't know what the purpose of this card is besides searching Clockwork Knight. And even then, I don't know if it's that good. Like, the card seems pretty good. A Link 1 that can search its continuous spell is solid, but you have to send a continuous spell you already control the grave. And I just don't know many continuous spells that work. Now, I will say... Cyber Dragons don't have any continuous spells, but Cyber Darks do. So are you supposed to be playing this with, like, Cyber Dark Cyber Dragons? So you send, like, one of their continuous spells to Grave in order to then get Clockwork Knight and then be able to do that? If so, cool. But here's an issue with that. Cyber Dragons want to go second. And most likely, if they see you doing this, they're just going to negate it because you're going to go second into a board. And they're just going to break the bricks off you. Because any deck that is not Tempi going second sucks. Or I guess Ancient Gears. But uh, Ancient Gears, again, I want, I want to say they want to destroy their spells, not send them. So, I don't know what this card is supposed to be played in. It seems interesting enough. 
I just don't know the, the use case for these cards. But who knows? Maybe this card is really good for Cyber Dragons. Maybe it's good for Ancient Gears. Shit, maybe even uh, fucking the new... Uh, uh, what the fuck that Orcus might play them. I'm not really sure. That spot's approved. Who knows? I'm not really sure what machine deck is supposed to be playing this. But it has potential. So we got to talk about it. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoy. Don't get stupid. See you all next one. And bye-bye. <laughs>